Dear students, in this topic, we shall discuss the transmission or spread of excitation over the heart. Dear students, the cardiac cells are coupled electrically through gap junctions. These gap junctions are the regions of low resistance between the cells. These gap junctions allow the current to flow from one cell to the next. The pacemaker's electrical activity spreads over the entire heart because of these gap junctions. Dear students, we shall have an overview of the path of transmission of excitation over the heart. The excitation that is generated in the sinoatrial node first uh, transmit is first transmitted to the atrial myocardium. From atrial myocardium, through the junctional fibers, it is transmitted to the atrioventricular node. From here, the excitation is transmitted to the atrioventricular bundles. From the bundle or bundle of his, the trans, uh, transmission occurs to the bundle branches, right and left bundle branches. These bundle branches transmit excitation to the Purkinje fibers. These Purkinje fibers then transmit excitation to the ventricular musculature. After this brief overview, we shall now discuss the transmission of cardiac impulses through these parts in detail. Pehle sabse, hum transmission of cardiac impulse through atria ko discuss karenge. Dear students, the sinoatrial nodal fibers connect directly with the atrial muscle fibers. So, the wave of excitation spreads over both the atria in a concentric way. The velocity of conduction in most of the atrial fibers is about 0.3 meter per second. However, conduction is rapid in smaller bands of atrial fibers that is about 1 meter per second. Dear students, the spread of excitation from atrial musculature to atrioventricular node occurs through small junctional fibers. These junctional fibers form internodal pathways. These internodal pathways include an anterior interatrial band and three small bands which curve through the anterior, middle and posterior atrial walls. Dear students, the velocity of wave of excitation in junctional fibers is very low, that is about 0 0.05 meter per second. This slowness causes a delay in the conduction of impulse to the ventricles. Ye jo delay hai, iski bohat zyada significance hai. Because it allows atrial contractions to precede ventricular contraction. In ventricular contraction se pehle, atrial contraction mukammal ho jai. And it gives or allows the time for blood to move from atria into the ventricles. Now we shall discuss the conduction of impulse or excitation through the bundle of his and the bundle branches to the Purkinje fibers and to the uh, myocardial cells of ventricles. The bundle of his, its branches and Purkinje fibers deliver the wave of excitation to all regions of ventricular myocardium. Ye jo bundle of his hai, ye iski jo branches hai, 
और इनसे निकलने वाली जो ब्रांचेस हैं वो पुरकिंजी फाइबर्स हैं ये तमाम के तमाम वेंट्रिकल्स के तमाम मसल्स तक वेव ऑफ एक्साइटेशन को कंडक्ट करते हैं इसका नतीजा क्या होता है कि ऑल वेंट्रिकुलर मसल फाइबर्स कॉन्ट्रैक्ट टूगेदर डे स्टूडेंट द कंडक्शन इज रैपिड थ्रू द बंडल ऑफ हेज एंड पुरकिंजी फाइबर्स दैट इज अबाउट फोर टू फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड 